we're going to talk about the summarized operator in here but before I do that because we often count events and things when we are doing searches I'm going to talk about count as an operator just like that no parentheses and it's at the beginning on the pipe it can be in some of the places but uh, typically it is there but it doesn't have the parentheses and when we run it we get that uh, it's counting the number of events in this database uh, what is that eight millions yep eight million eight point seven million event actually <laughs> I have it right here uh, now you can achieve the same thing by using the summarize and this is a bit more complex than the project so I'm going to go little by little here the summarize typically you have aggregation functions one of them is can is count but there are other like percentage standard deviation average minimum maximum uh, things like make an array of, of the component uh, standard deviation uh, I mean there are gazillions of uh, well not gazillion but there are quite a few functions that uh, that go there are binary functions they are you know all sort of things but let's say that we are going to stick with the count so if we hit go here and say simply count and we go like that what this is going to count is the same number of events as we were getting with the count operator but now with the count function because we, we are not filtering anything actually we got more logs coming as we were talking and that's why we, we got a few more but let's say that we want to count the number of users let's actually go and build this little number of users equals count and then we're going to put here user ID as an example if we run that query we get a number awfully close to the other one it's exactly the same number why? Because every log has a field called user ID. If we want to see the individual user IDs, there's a function that is starts with a D instead, which is distinct or unique user IDs. If we modify that function and we call the count, we get 856 distinct user IDs in the actual database now you can put here comma and put more columns and more components uh, but uh, as you can see I have not put the how, what, what is it that I'm grouping this by so if you do that by putting the by operator so let's say I want to see all the uh, for example all the uh, log source names there's a field called name in there so I want to go all the names by user ID and that's what you put there by if we run that query what we see now is that for every name we get the number of users user IDs that are unique because we have the D as a, a distinct entry for every one of those right we have 92 pages of that Again, we can now use the take here if we want to limit that and and we can do filters where filters above below uh, whatever but one important thing is that notice that if I want to put in here project that we learned in the previous video we want to project uh, for example uh, source IP what do you think is going to happen now, first of all, I need to spell it right. If we try to do that, we expect an error because that column is not visible because the summarize is only giving me these columns over here. That information is missing. I lost it from one pipe to the next. So if I were to move this over here and I put it on the top, well, it will be seen, but will be overridden by the summarize. So you need to be aware of what is it that you leave behind because you don't need because in the same query you are not going to get it back 
let's combine some of these things. Let's say that we are asked to get the number of unique users that come from the from the Palo Alto logs. Well, we can accomplish that several ways. With the probably the easiest is to start here in the beginning, put a pipe. Oops, sorry. Click on the wrong place. Put a pipe here. and put a WHERE statement. And what is it that we want to filter? Well, the parameter, the column for the user, uh, for the log source is called data, I believe it was a data source name. And then we are going to put uh, contains in his case insensitive, I'm going to put Palo. Right. So let's run that query that is going to filter all those. And here we have those. We can also add more columns in here by, for example, adding these. I also want you to count the IPs and notice this uh, operator, count if. Only if this condition is true, those events are going to be counted on the, the IP. So I'm saying count all but this particular IP address. And also show that to me the same way at this one. If we run this query, we should get two columns instead of one. And you can add more as, as, as you actually need. Right? In the next video, we are going to learn how to investigate the type. In this particular case, it's easy to know that this is a string. This is, uh, well, this is what we calculated. Source IPs are specified like that, like that string. But what, what is it if we're looking into something and we do not understand whether it's uh, an array of component, with an integer, with a string, etc. And we'll do that by using the get schema in the next video.